imagine this. One of your colleagues just sent you a snarky email. You're immediately pissed off and you want to retaliate. Fueled by anger, you explicitly tell your colleague what you really think of them and their actions on a recent project and decide to hit the send button without taking a moment to reconsider. But as soon as that email has left your outbox, you are immediately overcome with regret. Sound familiar? When you have low impulse control, you can make rash decisions and have trouble controlling your impulses or resisting temptation. You can be aggressive, unpredictable, and reactive. But here's a technique I show my clients to help them press the pause button before reacting. Take a sheet of paper and draw out four columns. On the left side above the two columns, write awareness. And on the right side above the other two columns, write action. In the first column, write the word emotion. In the second column, write trigger. In the third column, write the word response. And in the fourth column, write impact. Using the scenario above, let's write out the situation breaking down the components in this chart. When you received the snarky email, you felt angry. So write down anger in the emotion column. Ask yourself, why did I feel angry? What caused the anger? Well, the trigger was the snarky email. So write down a snarky email in the trigger column. Now, the most important thing to do here if you struggle with low impulse control is to press pause and make a conscious decision by writing down a low EQ and a high EQ response. This will give you a moment to craft a precise response and assess the impact that your words and actions could have before you actually do it. Under the response column, write out a low EQ response. A low EQ response would be what you did. You sent a snarky email back. So write that out under the response column. And if you take a moment and think about the impact of that low EQ response, you will know your response would escalate the conflict even more and the outcome would not be positive. So write down conflict escalated, resulting in a poor outcome under the impact column. Now let's write out a high EQ response. A high EQ response would be you would calm down your anger, go for a walk, and once cooled down, ask to set up an in-person meeting to discuss your differing viewpoints. So write down, cool off, walk it off, and ask to set up an in-person meeting under the response column. The impact of that response is that you both might be uncomfortable trying to calmly explain how you felt about the situation and your viewpoints, but the conflict would not escalate. So write down sharing how we really feel and understanding each other better to move the project forward under the impact column. Taking a moment to pause and jot down your possible responses allows you to create space between the emotion and the trigger and the response and the impact, making a conscious choice rather than one triggered by emotion and impulse. I'm Carolyn Stern, an emotional intelligence speaker, trainer, and author. For more tools to increase your impulse control and other emotional intelligence skills, sign up for our newsletters at carolynstern.com newsletter.